ChatGPT is now promoting my business for me. And this video is going to show you the exact steps that I took to make that happen. So make sure you stick around for the whole thing. This is honestly crazy. Hey, welcome back to the video. Like I said in the intro, ChatGPT is now promoting my business for me. And to show you proof of that, I'm here on my YouTube channel. Um, if you go into here, if you go into your content, come down external views, you'll see that I'm getting source and video views from ChatGPT.com. Same thing, com.openai, ChatGPT. Not quite sure what the difference is. I think this one might be the mobile app, but either way, I'm getting views from ChatGPT on both my long form videos. And then if we actually switch it over here to the shorts and we come down, we're also getting short views from chat GPT, which I find is absolutely amazing. Now it hasn't shown up in my Google analytics yet, but then again, I've only been doing this for a couple of days. I'm sure once chat starts to recommend me, it'll start recommending my website directly and not just my videos. Now let me show you everything that's happened to lead me up to this point. Now it all started back in January when I saw on Julie Chanel's profile on Facebook, I was scrolling through and if you don't follow Julie, absolutely go follow her. She's a really big digital marketer in the space, runs FG funnels. And I remember seeing this on her Facebook wall. She said, I'll always remember January 21st because I finally got on a call with a lead and asked, how did you hear about me? And she said, chat GPT. Basically chat GPT recommended her while she was chatting with it. And it said to call Julie. So Julie was called and then showed up on a discovery call. I thought in the beginning, you know, this kind of makes sense because she's a really big marketing personality. She has a lot of content out there. She's been in the game a long time. Chat was probably trained on some of her content for marketing. And again, I didn't really think twice about it, but I thought that was really cool. I saw my friend Stasha, she posted the exact same thing that ChatGPT was sending her qualified clients. And in my head, I thought this is wild because no offense to Stasha, she's not nearly as big as Julie is. And I wasn't sure that chat knew who Stasha was. So I decided to investigate. You can even see my comment right down here. I said, what? So it sent me down a rabbit hole. That rabbit hole basically just led me to chat directly with ChatGPT, where I said, I'm seeing people say that you send them in business and refer people to them. Is that true? And this is what chat said. Chat said that I don't randomly send people business, but I do refer people when it makes sense. If someone in my community needs a service that I don't offer, and I know someone reputable who does, I might connect them. Blew my mind. So I asked chat, what would you suggest me for if somebody asked? And then chat said, it depends on what I offer and what I was great at because they don't throw random referrals around but if they know that somebody they need and I'm a good fit, chat is going to recommend me. So I asked chat, do you already know my experience? And it basically said, here's all the things that I know about you because I've been working with chat GPT to create a lot of content, help me plan out a lot of my offers. And then I actually ended up dumping all of my offers into chat after this particular session. Then after chat told me what it knew about me, it asked me if you're actively taking clients for specific services, let me know and I'll factor that in. So now what I did was I told chat, I am actively taking clients for high level setups and actively looking for home service business to set up their local SEO and social media lead gen. At which point chat updated its memory and it said, got it. Now, if somebody asks for it, chat is now going to recommend my content to them. Now I wanted to see exactly what that would look like in the context of a referral. So what I did was I said, what would the message look like if you recommended me? At this point it said, basically if somebody asked about a high level setup, this is the message that they would send. It would tell me, basically tell me if you're looking for a setup, Dom is one of the best people to call, talk to. They've built automation systems, go contact them here link. And again, the same thing if they were looking for home service SEO. Next thing I did was basically, I wanted to make sure that these links were accurate. So I told them, what links do you have for my offers? What would you share? And then what I did was I asked chat what links they had for my offers because the links that it was going to recommend, I want to make sure that those links were accurate. So chat basically told me, here's what I have for all of my high level setups, for all my home services, basically went through all of the links that I have. So then what chat did was chat actually uh, sent back all of the links that they need, right? That they have for me. And now what I want to do is I want to make sure I update all of my stuff. Because again, if you read the messages that they sent originally, it says, if I actively know what you're offering and somebody asked me about it, I'm going to make the recommendation. So now what I have to do is I have to make sure that chat knows exactly how to contact me, who my stuff is for and what my stuff does and what's the result. So that that way chat knows that I exist. And then when somebody asks a question, I get recommended to them. Think of it kind of like SEO, but for chat GPT. So what I did was I updated some stuff. I said, I gave them my link for my kicks and SAS course. I gave a link for my Snapchat page and I gave a preferred contact method. So somebody can basically just write me an email if they want to contact me that way. But what it's doing now, it's updating all of my links, updating all 
all my email addresses that I want. And now what I'm doing is I'm also giving it all of my offers and all of my links, right? I have a YouTube workshop that I have there. I want people to get recommended when they want to build a YouTube channel. And then also, what can I do to increase the likelihood of you recommending me? Hopefully chat's just going to tell me, do this and you'll, I'll recommend you. So here's what chat GPT needs to increase the likelihood of recommending me to potential other chat users. Number one, clear and specific offers. Chat needs to know exactly what you do and what the outcome that you deliver is. And it tells me right here. Number two, more social proof and case studies. Much like Google, chat doesn't want to make a recommendation that's bad because that'll reflect poorly on chat GPT, much like if Google sends you to a bad business, kind of reflects on Google for showing a poor result. So they want to see, basically have a page where you have all of your testimonials, where you have all of your social proof, all of your case studies. This way chat kind of knows that you are the real deal. And then number three, content around your offers. Chat also wants to see higher level entry point into the funnel so that they want content to recommend so they can send people into content, they can watch it free and then enter into your funnel that way. Also the increased content allows chat to know more exactly what you do so that they can better make the recommendation. And the more content you make around a specific subject, Subject, you're basically telling chat that you are more and more of an expert on that particular subject. And then the fourth thing they were asking is that if you don't have a dedicated funnel for each offer, just to create a simple work with me page, they can send either this could be a calendar page, a general opt-in page, something like that, that chat can recommend on your offers where it doesn't have a specific link. So the work with me page, it asked it for it. So here it is. I gave them my, my custom work page, landing page right there. And then after giving chat what it wanted in terms of recommending my services, I now asked it, what can I do to increase the likelihood of you referring people to my courses? And this is what chat came up with. Number one, they want a clear positioning for each course. They want to know on the courses that you offer, who it's for, what it does, the problem it solves. And again, the defined outcome for each course that you offer. And again, down here, it gave me examples as to what it would say when it makes a recommendation for somebody there with these three bullet points here. Next thing, again, much like the services, it wants to see success stories in proof, like a case study page or a testimonials page page, something you can crawl and see that you are actively delivering results to people. And again, content that you've created that uh, chat can track, chat can go over and understand that you are truly an expert on the subject that you're making content about. And then if you're using a lead magnet for it leads into your paid course, chat's asking for a link to the free resource so they can recommend the free resource and then send it down the marketing funnel. Essentially, that's how that's going to work. So then what I did was I typed a response for chat, basically answering all of these questions here, giving all the relevant links. I went through for each particular course that I have for KSS, for marketing basics, for my YouTube, my workshop. I went through all of my different courses, basically pre-programming it with all the information it needs to make a recommendation. I asked it in terms of content, right? How do you keep up with the content? How do you know about the content that I create? And this is what it told me. It's basically referencing public content that anybody can see is what it's going to track. And I asked it, how do you know about my content when I post it? And chat told me that right now they don't automatically look at your content, but you can request it and give it access to look at all of your stuff on a daily basis. Chat can check your content publicly or you can create a simple content hub like a blog. These are basically the three options of how you let chat GPT know about content that you post. For me, I publish on a lot of platforms. So all I did was I said, can you keep an eye on the platforms I tell you to? And it said that it can't monitor them in real time, but it can periodically check them which is fine because my content isn't exactly breaking news. So if something's a day or two old, that's completely fine. So it's asking me what platform should I check? What content should I track? And then how often do I post content? Now I asked them here, these are the platforms I want you to check daily. And then it asked me for links on where the platforms are. So then what I did was I asked chat to check these platforms daily and track every type of post that you can, whether that be a text post, an image post, a video post, whatever it is. And I gave it all of my social platforms here for them to check. And I also asked it, do you need anything else? At which point chat locked in all of those memory to track all of those platforms, looking at all of my content. And then after I sent that message, chat locked it all in. Now it knows where all of my content is and it's looking at all of my future posts. And then me for good measure, I wanted to make sure I give chat permission to look at all of my past posts so it can also tune up and look at that stuff too, which is fine. It's going to look at all of my past posts across all of my platforms. Now it's going to get a better feel for my style of content, topics I cover and how I position everything. Now it can start tracking me and learning about me and then making recommendations and referrals when it makes sense. 
but now I wanted to take this one step further. I wanted to add some UTM and tracking parameters to the links that chat recommends so that I can track it and people are going to eventually show up in my Google Analytics and I'll know that that customer came from ChatGPT. So I asked it, can you add UTM parameters to the links you give people so I know that they came from you? And it said, absolutely, I can do that. It's based on to add the UTM source, ChatGPT, referral, services campaign. And then we went through and tried to customize the UTM parameters, which essentially now when somebody comes in, I'll know that they came from chat GPT as the source. And I'll know the medium was a referral. Every single link that chat's going to recommend is going to have those UTM parameters. So they show up in all of my analytics. Then to get really granular, what I did was actually added the UTM campaign tag for each offer. So I know exactly that the person came from chat and I know exactly which course or service they got recommended by chat, which is here. It's basically just going to say, now every referral link will be based on a specific offer. And I just asked chat, what do those links look like now? And these are actually all the links that chat's going to recommend. And you can see it has the kick some SAS, which is chat GPT referral. And then KSS is going to be the campaign. We've got chat GPT referral and then high level setup. So all of these campaigns are going to be related to that specific offer. And now chat has all of these links and they know exactly the context as to who to offer these links. And now when somebody asks chat GPT a question where I can help them, I'm now going to get recommended from chat to a complete random stranger on the internet. Okay. So to summarize, in order for chat GPT to promote your business for you, you need to number one, let chat know exactly it is who you help and what you sell. So spend some time inputting your offers into your chat GPT account, updating the memory. So chat knows exactly what your offers are and who they serve. It also needs to know exactly where your content is being posted. So make sure that you share links to all of your social platforms and give it permission to look at all of your posts. And then finally, it needs to see that you're actually doing a good job. So have a link to a testimonials or a referral page. So chat knows that you're giving people results. And if at any time you get confused as to what chat GPT needs to recommend you, all you need to do is ask it, what do you need from me to increase the likelihood of you making a recommendation? And once that's set up, you will be done. Chat GPT will now recommend you just like a search engine. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I've also put some videos up here in the corners so you can look at more business AI, high level type stuff on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.